Because this does not happen without your incredible support. So I thank you honestly so, so much, especially with this music. But, um, but I realise it's not the first time I've performed on this stage, though. Um, back in 1992, the Campbelltown High School Jazz Band, <laughs> when we were one of many bands showcasing, you know, for the, the curriculum or whatever it was, you know, back in Campbelltown, a bit of a Westie from Campbelltown, you know, today. So I represent. So I, I have... I, I have actually been here uh, playing trombone. Look, there's no, don't worry guys, you get fine on the back. I was pretty ordinary back then. I'm shocking now, so. I've lost the opera sure, you know? It wouldn't happen, no God, no. Don't let me touch it, it'll be shocking. Um, but also, I also realized, um, it's pretty, like a pretty, I know it's very self-indulgent to talk about this, but I'll do, because we're performers and that's what we do. We add up ourselves. Um, but, but from the trombone at school, and um, you know, I was a bit of a late bloomer to singing, I started singing uh, at a place, I'm not sure if anyone remember this, a theme park called Australia's Wonderland. Yeah. Yeah. Wouldn't it be wonderful if the world... Yeah. So I, I mean, you know, playing uh, trombone at school, and then suddenly saw an ad in the Sydney Morning Herald saying they need singer dancers at Australia's Wonderland. Never sung, never dance. Why not? So I auditioned, got the job, and, and uh, the rest is history, I loved it. So, so it's, kind of, it's kind of a pretty... I don't know, for me, in a self-indulgent story, saying that the boy from Campbelltown who went via Australia's Wonderland to be in the Sydney Opera House. So I just want to thank you very much for that opportunity. Um, um, God, we're blank as performers, aren't we? I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, with a soft story like this, I could audition for The Voice. Anyhow. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, back to Elton and George. Um, but both of these incredible artists uh, had a lot of collaborations over the time. And um, I mean, Elton had a lot of great duets, as we know. Um, and, and then also, these days, he's, he's collaborating with a lot of DJs and re reinventing his music as well. I'm a bit old school, so I'm not the old stuff. But, um, but uh, and George Michael as well, not only with his incredible music and, of course, Wham, but, um, but he collaborated uh, with a lot, of, uh, a lot of different musicians, including um, his next song, which is going to pay tribute to this. Uh, George Michael, back in 1992, was part of an incredible tribute concert at Wembley Stadium, uh, celebrating the late, great Freddie Mercury yes. with uh, the, uh, the band Queen. I know, I know. This, um, this version, this live version of the song actually ended up on a number of uh, his albums. So uh, we're going to head back and, uh, and do this one for you. Now this one, just get my posh accent now because I'm with an orchestra at Sydney Opera This one, Goth, um, I need a G flat if I need these. No, oh, that's lovely. Can anybody find me somebody to Yeah. 
Somebody to love like right. This is your turn. Somebody to love like Somebody to love like Somebody to love like Somebody to love Thank <laughs> you. 